Uh, Imano Boateng is, uh, is a professional player who started his career uh, back in the days uh, with Leeds United. Okay. And uh, at La Paz, yeah. La okay. Paz. Like, did you did you even realize that the time will come that um, charity will be, I mean, the breakthrough for you as a player? Well, I had I had the breakthrough. I had, okay. I had, I had signed for for Rio Ave. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, two three days before 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 flying, I had I had an injury. I, I told my mom, I told my mom, mom it's, it's over. Uh, I was a defender. Yeah, actually, I was a defender. I think uh, most of my friends know. When I went to Morens, there was this coach that I really liked me, but he left after. Wow. So a new coach came, and he also brought, uh, you know, sometimes the coaches bring, bring their, their own, own yeah, players. Their own yeah. players so. But let me put this, the education background, were you able to complete your um, school? I, I was in my final year, but uh, I, chose, I chose football. Uh, hey, but, Charlie. I just thank God how how far he has brought me because uh, sometimes I might I might also finish school then uh, things things wouldn't go well, okay so. okay so when the match ended draw and then you saw Ramos what was the first thing that you told him on pitch yeah <laughs> he was like uh, the gusta corre mucho and I said ah sí 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 me gusta after the match and then you scored a hat trick um, which Barcelona player did you communicate with do you have the chance to communicate with Messi no I think uh, it was uh, Coutinho. <laughs> Okay, so happy new year, boss man. Many happy returns. Um, yeah. So, um, the year 2020, um, what are you saying? Yeah, it has been a, a very difficult year. Okay. Compared to this pandemic, I buy, you know. Uh -huh. I'm a new year, 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 year, Yeah, yeah, true. Okay, um, so we thank God for that as well. So, um, the year 2020 as a footballer, um, your career, um, a little bit about your history will be, I mean, very, very important. So, so if you can share with us. Yeah, 2020 was a very difficult year for me mm -hmm. as a player because mm -hmm. uh, I, was, I, was, I was really injured. When okay. we started the season, okay. I only played a couple of games, uh, 2020, mm -hmm. which is uh, which is normal as a player, and I understand football. So, okay. but uh, I just hope uh, I just hope year 2021 everything uh, everything will be will okay. Go, yeah. All right, so um, uh, people really want to know who Emmanuel Boateng is. Uh, uh, can you share with us how the football journey started? And uh, many people will say, okay, it all started from coast football. Yeah. I can't remember when I was reporting for a newspaper in Ghana, I reported on coast football and I started at Alajo Park with Farkos. So normally I go there to report on um, football in terms of um, their reportage and how they, they are, I don't know how they put it, but how the league started over yeah. there and other things. So how did your career started for you in Ghana here? Yeah, Imano Boateng is, uh, is a professional player who started his career uh, back in the days uh, with Leeds United. Okay. And uh, at La Paz, yeah, La okay. Paz, New okay. Madrid. Okay. So I played Leeds United for a couple of years. Then I moved to Kaswa. Okay. I also played one uh, one club. It's also a coast club okay. called uh, Mal FC. Okay. So from there I moved to Charity Charity Stars. Okay. So from Charity Stars, that's that's where everything uh, everything started started going up and okay. uh, i just thank god for that so from charity stars i moved to i moved to the national under 17. okay so I, in the national under 17 i had a had a straight door in portugal wow and that was uh that was 20 2013 yeah 2013 yeah 2013. so like okay so take us to true um charity stars where i mean the peak started like when you realized that okay you were like okay this is Emmanuel Boati and like did you did you even realize that the time will come that um, charity will be I mean the breakthrough for you as a player I never I never dreamt of that because when I, I remember when I was in uh, Mal FC at Kaswa okay charity came came around me like a couple of days but I didn't want to go so later on I said no just uh, let me let me just go try new new adventure you know new 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 challenge okay so i went i went to charity actually i was uh, i was a defender yeah actually i was a defender i think uh, most of my friends know so uh i just give thanks to late uh, late coach afani okay yeah he 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 made me a striker 
yeah, he changed everything. So I I first give thanks to him. So how how is it like uh, um, a defender now into a striker? Like how how was the transformation like? Yeah, wasn't it wasn't that difficult because uh, as a player, uh, uh, when when we're young, you know, you you could you could play every position. Oh okay. Yeah, you could play. Uh, you could play. Sometimes I play from the right back, uh, central midfield. Okay. Even midfield. So okay. I play. I play. So when when Coach Afani told me I should uh, I should play as a striker, I was like, okay. So we tried. We tried a couple of times, and uh, I think everything went well. Okay, so take us through um, Charity FC and from Charity FC to Black Stars Under Seventeen. Um, you know, in, now in Ghana, um, I don't know when. I don't know, but how was it like playing for a coach team uh, back then? How is it like? How is the feeling like? You move from one team to the other, from another team to the other. How was it, it like? Was, it was a great. It was a great feeling because as a young player. Always, we we need to start from somewhere. We need to start from somewhere. So playing playing the coast team, I think coast coast teams also in a is very it's it's a very tough team. You mm-hmm. know, it's very tough. So we we all try to help each other. And uh, playing in uh, in charity stars was also also one opportunity for me because because uh, that's where all everything started in okay. my career. You know. So I just uh, first I also give thanks to the the management in okay. uh, in charity stars. Okay. So looking at coast team now in Ghana, it's not how it used to be at first. Or do you think it's still how it is? No, no. I think now uh, now it's 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 different, mm-hmm. and uh, because I think now they've they've abandoned the the coast okay. the coast uh, football the coast football yeah. mm-hmm. which which I think it's more important for us because uh, we need to start from somewhere. So they need to also help the young players. Uh, as well. yeah. Okay, so um, from coast football to under seventeen, how was the call up like? <sighs> it was uh, it was really difficult. I w- actually I was in school mm-hmm. when I had when I had a call from uh, from Coach Afani. Okay, so I was like, it was like school and uh, football. And football. Yeah. Which one? Uh, which one do you want to choose? I was like, uh, if the opportunity come, I have no choice because I think uh, I really love football and it's it's uh, it's a gift. Okay. So I went. I went to to the national camp. We were we were, we were like uh, thousands of players mm-hmm. playing the justify. Mm-hmm. So we played. We played. We played, and uh, I think we all went home. Okay. And they called thirty players. Okay. And the thirty players, I was I was included. So I was I was really excited. So it was the thirty that was the final. Yeah. Thirty, 30 final. final. Okay. So I mean call ups, and you know as a player, um, definitely under seventy. I watched some couple of matches as well, but. Um, was there a time that you felt like okay, throughout the competition, uh, you were supposed to play from first half to the end of the match? Not even got to a point. Got to a point. Uh, when when I went first, I okay. wasn't even playing. Okay. And normally, if you don't play, and uh, they are they are about to mention people like players who who need to go home. Okay. If you don't play, you 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 are going home. Oh, so yeah. the, it really happens. Yeah, it's it happens. If you don't play, like because uh, we are we are we are like. Uh, we are many. Okay. So they need to reduce the numbers. The numbers. So okay. those who play and those who perform, okay, they will stay. All right. Okay. So if you don't play and you don't perform, yeah, I think you will go home. So this is something new because, like, more or less, like after you playing, you're justify, and finally Manuel Boatin has been picked among the thirty people, and all of a sudden, let's say you are going for a tournament, and this tournament you are going to, they need to reduce. Why don't they also reduce the pest like the people, the thirty, the number, the thirty number? Well, sometimes you know, you know, the coaches they always, uh, they always want the best. Okay. You understand? So they pick, they pick the best. Sometimes they can pick thirty, and uh, maybe after one month, after okay. one month. Uh, one of the players will drop form. Okay. They can't they, because they need the best. Okay. They want the best. Okay. So maybe they will drop this player and also put another player. Okay. Every every coach does that, and uh, I think it's also the best for for we the players. Players as well. Okay. So um, then you had your breakthrough to was it Portugal? Yeah, Portugal. Portugal. So um, how did it come about? Yeah, even before before I had I had the breakthrough. I had, okay. I had I signed for for Rio Ave. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, two, three days before 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 flying, I had I had an injury, which wow. which wasn't which wasn't normal as a, as a player because I went to training normal and I came back, I came back, I slept, I woke up with my uh, with my knee swollen, which I couldn't I couldn't work again, so the the date was postponed and I thought uh, I thought that was the end, yeah, as a player because I felt 
I felt very bad and that was my first injury in football. I felt I felt very bad but with time I had I had a call from the club that I should come so that they treat me over there. I think that was uh that was also a good news and also a breakthrough so Wow. So God played in this factor. Yeah, yeah I think it's all it's all God. Yeah. Cause I'm surprised because you signing a deal and all of a sudden you got injured and like what was running through your mind when that thing happened? I don't know. Me I I, I, I told my mom, I told my mom, mom it's it's over. You know, I told her, I told her. She wow. was like, No, I shouldn't say that. So we started treating we started treating in Ghana, then the I had a call that I should come so that they treat me over there. Okay, and then from there um to the from there, I went to from Rava. I went to I played I played one year. In okay. Rava, then I went to Modernes. Okay. In Portugal, so. Okay. So how was it like over there? I think going to Modernes, I, I play, was it, that was uh, 20, 2015, yeah. Okay. Twenty fifteen. After the uh, under twenty. Under World twenty Cup. World Cup, yeah. yeah. So from the under twenty World Cup, I went straight. I went straight to to Marines, yeah. Okay. So over there. Uh, from Ghana, the Ghana boy uh, played for um, so many coast clubs here in Ghana. Um, did you play or did you, in a way, play for any, um, let's say, Liberty Professional, Kumasi Asante Koto, or any I other played, club? I played for Tema Youth. For Tema Youth. Months, yeah. Okay, for a couple of months. Okay. So, um, that Ghana boy, the first time um, traveling outside. Um, no, okay, let's put that one. Okay, you've had your first time experience, but in Portugal, how was it like, Chalu? Your food, your style of eating, in your man, your man. I think it was uh, it was really difficult for okay. for me as a player also because uh, compared to the language. Okay. Yeah, when I went there first, uh, Portuguese is also difficult. It's mm-hmm. uh, it's really difficult language, so it was uh, it was really difficult for me to sometimes communicate with the, okay. with my colleagues. Okay. Yeah. So and the food as well. But uh, I think I'm, I'm I think I'm a good cook. So <laughs> sometimes oh, okay. I cook I cook myself. I don't okay. I don't depend on the their food. On their food yeah. Okay. So so you try to prepare. Yeah, you I know. try to prepare myself. So normally we know that boys boys yeah Charlie you know. be some rice and some things you cook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey Charlie, this is your story there. Yeah, it's some way. Yeah, it's it's it hasn't been easy. Yeah. So as a player, you need to gather that courage when you go out there to play for um, other clubs team as well. Yeah. Like in term, because one, you, their language, their food, and also their way of living. Yeah, and sometimes you would even meet a, a coach who wouldn't even like you. So wow. you, the player, you need to you need to be mentally tough. Okay. You need to psych yourself. That, no, I'm here for work. I have to do it. I met I met the same coach. I met the same coach in uh, Morenes when I okay. went to Morenes. Yeah. Okay. When I went to Morens, there was this coach that I really liked me, but he left after. Wow. So a new coach came and he also brought, uh, you know, sometimes the coaches bring, bring their, their own, own yeah, players. Their own player. yeah. so he brought his own, uh, his own player. Okay. So he didn't really, we didn't really, you know, vibe like each other. Okay. Yeah. So it was a bit difficult yeah, and challenging for you. It was really difficult for me. I, I really wanted to leave at the moment. Okay. But, uh, but the president was like, no, no, I shouldn't go. And I stayed stayed and also I think it got to a time I also had my opportunity okay. to play and uh, I play so, so when I went when I went that, that same coach when okay. I went to Levante relax you go to the Levante <laughs> because as for the Levante I think most people want to hear that story because um, Levante story is a, a, is a different ball game altogether and I just want us to do it very quickly in terms of the history coming back and other things but let me put this the education background were you able to complete your um, school I, I was in my final year but uh, I just I just football over hey Charlie I was fine I think it was only one month before my exams yeah then I, I traveled hey yeah. wow and sometimes you feel like yeah okay so like I have to like I was supposed to finish this school before going back to play football and other no, things. I don't feel I don't feel that way because uh, I just I just thank God how how far he has brought me because uh, sometimes I might I might also finish school then uh, things things wouldn't go well. Okay. So having a profession I think uh, it's also a good feeling and you always need to thank God. So even before in other seventeen coach uh, coach Pakos in okay. Opele. Opele. Uh, so your school and your football, football. you know, we, 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 because they are like my fathers. So we talk and I'm like, ah, I coach, I choose football, you know. <laughs> so it was always like this. What, did you see that, like, 
there was a bright star or was it that like you slept and you were like okay i had a dream that this was where i was going to be at the end of the day if i choose football no, i didn't i didn't have any but it was also it was always a dream okay and i was i was really determined to to reach to reach that where level. i want to reach okay. yeah i was really determined and it, it has it has always been my prayers so okay. i just uh, i just thank god okay so let's go back to portugal <clears throat> so so this coach that was not i mean really vibing with you like you said um at the end of the day and then lavente came in from spain um that was in the year 2017 right yeah i stand to be corrected was it yeah. 2017 yeah. when you got yeah. signed somewhere august yeah. august 2017 yeah. um so that transformation when the deal came in and they were like okay so okay before then you go to lavante were you having that much playing time with under him yeah, after after a couple of months, okay. I was I was I was now playing. I was playing and scoring. So when when I moved, when I had the deal, he called me. He because he also moved to another club. Okay. So he called me that I should come to his club, the same coach. And I was like, uh, coach, I don't think the club will leave me, you know. So. So what club team was that? He he went to Tondela. Okay. To Tondela in Portugal. It was still in Portugal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And. Um, in Levante, the deal. How did it happen? Yeah, I think uh, because I played a couple of years in uh, in Portugal, so okay. I told my agent, I "Think it's time to also try Explore another, another yeah. club team." So he was like, "Okay, then let's do this." So we were there. We, we had a couple of a uh, couple of clubs. Okay, but uh, I think uh, Levante was the best for you. The best was the best for me as a player because okay. it's it's always a blessing playing alongside Messi, Ronaldo. Charlie, you know, Charlie. So I chose I chose the opportunity to uh, to sign for. Uh, Charlie, make a feel the Messi then Ronaldo <laughs> has it from your body's world because oh no, but because you know um, Shatawale short video is Beyonce. Yeah. And when the gay people wanted to hug him, so me to uh, I hold Messi. I definitely you, you shook hands with Messi and Ronaldo and uh, Sergio Ramos and the rest on the pitch. Yeah. So at the end of the day, me to I feel my, my blessings yeah, were. <laughs> Charlie, so Lavante, um, I, on your press conference you said um, you were the second um, highest signing striker in that club, um, and one person asked the question that was it a pressure to you at that time? Yeah, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't a pressure because I think I I went I went through a lot in Portugal as a player, so okay. sometimes you need to get a courage. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, I think the the courage was there. Okay, and, uh, I was. I was really calm to to go to the pitch and perform. Yeah. Okay, so in Spain, Levante to be precise, um, from Portugal, you were supposed to speak some Portuguese language, and then now to Spain, were you fluent with the um, Spanish language as well? Yeah, because uh, well, because when I moved when I moved to Spain, because okay. I speak Portuguese. Okay. And Portuguese and uh, and Spanish are quite similar. Similar. Okay. So it wasn't that difficult. Okay. It wasn't that difficult for me to communicate with because uh, sometimes when I even want to speak Spanish I speak Portuguese. Okay. You know, it, because it's kind of uh, similar. similar. Yeah. So it wasn't that difficult to communicate with uh, with, with my colleagues. Okay. So like learning the language um, Portuguese language and you saying it's similar to the Spanish language um, it is it difficult? Did you go to any school to go and study, or you had somebody who came home to, I mean, teach you this language, or the club really supported you in a way? I think in Portugal, I just, I just learned, the, I learned the language on the field with my colleagues. Yeah. Oh, so you are a good learner, like yeah, as in on the pitch of play. Yeah, on the pitch. Okay. You know, because first I think we need to, as as we players, we need to learn the football words. Okay. First. Okay. So that we can we can try to communicate with our, our colleagues. You said a football voice. Like, what what is it about football words? But sometimes, if you know, in Ghana, okay, if we are playing, okay, and we were say, bra, okay, you understand, okay, you know, you okay, know, those okay. words pass, you okay, know, say okay, those words. okay. So, um, was it difficult learning it? Was it? It wasn't difficult. It was, you know, because it's something that we used to say. It's always okay, it always. So, okay, it got to a point. It was. Uh, it, it was really part stick, of yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, and in Spain too as well. Yeah, in Spain when I went uh, because of the Portuguese, the club gave me a teacher. Okay. For a couple of months, but I think after after one week, I was like, I told the president, 
I don't think because what he's teaching me, I I know I know what he's teaching me, and he wasn't he was also he wasn't a Spanish he was also okay. a foreigner. Okay. So his Spanish was also quite uh, similar like mine. Okay. So, so we, I told the person that I think uh, it's 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 it's, it's okay. It's okay. okay. I, will, I would just learn on the pitch up your play. So wait, was was there any point where? Um, like we always say, like here in Ghana, we speak English, the tree, and then you, the, somebody will tell you that, okay, uh, so on tree in here, like you go speak some broken tribute or broken English or in a way, were you finding that difficult in that time when you were playing, like you spoke um, Spanish, but it was a, a bit broken in a way? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it, no, most, most of the time, because sometimes some of the Spanish players, uh, you know, in, Sp- in Spain, like in Ghana, we have a, uh, Key. yeah we have key and key. we have fancy fancy yeah it's, it's the like, same yeah yeah, yeah. sometimes they speak this uh catalona it's okay. kind of different okay yeah so you also try to figure out something to to say yeah challenge so how is it like challenge? Eh, it be some will take us through but like you in a camp in the training page playing football and then um they communicate this way to you and then sometimes you really understand what they try to say before, before I wasn't, I wasn't really understand. But sometimes you don't get, but you get the picture. Okay. Of what the coach okay, or the, your, your, your players are trying okay. to tell you. Okay. Now, Lavante, um, Emmanuel Boateng, number twenty-one, playing for Lavante. How was it like? How how was the feeling like the first day? So what what what, what first club did you play against with? Like the first team you played against. In, the, in Levante. In Levante, I yeah. think I played. I played against my first. My first game was against uh, against Valencia. Valencia, and uh, did the coach called you and be like, um, "What? In, this is the time for you to play. So you are going to start, or you started from the second half." No, I think uh, that coach was also difficult. You know, he that was, was tough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was. Yeah, yeah. He was. He was really difficult. I also had difficulties with. Uh, with him, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know which word I should use. But okay. uh, I think uh, it was it was kind of strange. But as a player, I always need to respect coach, coach's uh, decision. Coach's decision and also try to push him back. But how does it make you feel when um, first? I mean, the the lineup is out, and then you realize that your name is not part, and you, sometimes you are not part of the substitution. How does it make you feel as a, pre- a player, yeah, so knowing that you are from Portugal and then you came to Spain and this is something that's happening to you? Yeah, sometimes it's kind of uh, it's kind of difficult for we the players because uh, we always want to play, we always want to put our best on the field, but uh, we we should also understand the coach's, uh, coach's decision. decision. We, sh- we should respect the coach's decision. Because uh, we should also know we we like uh, twenty five players. Okay. We the twenty five players can be on the pivot, only eleven. Okay. So the coach need to pick his best. Okay. But sometimes it's kind of frustrating if if you're not playing, you know. Because as a player and as we young players like mm-hmm. this, I think the best way is also to to have more playing time okay. and uh, to also perform. In so in a way, do you think um I'm not saying this is what I mean Levante players do. But do you think money equally influences the coach as well? Or the president equally takes some decision when he feels like, no, these people are not supposed to play. I need this person or that person to play for this yeah, game. Yeah, for that part, I don't, I, don't really, I don't really know. I just, I just don't think about that part because as a player, I just, I just go to the club, I sign for the club. I, I just work as a player, I play the field. I don't really think about that part. If they are doing something, that's, that's, it's their, very fishy. that's, that's their, their own. That's their own. Okay. So, um... Talking about the tournament under 17, you said 30 players, and all of a sudden, these 30 players, um, they will be dropped, and then they will have some few people in camp. Yeah. Does that happen in Levante as well, or outside as well, no. when they realize that you don't often play that much? No, I think this is a. Uh, we're I, talking about national team, maybe okay. team. It's okay. a different thing altogether. Okay. And uh, in the club team, we have, if it's 25 players registered. Okay. You can only change someone maybe half of the season. You okay. Know, let's say when okay. the season is over or, okay. or you've played a first round or second okay. round. Yeah. But in national team, we are in camp. Okay. So today one can go, one can come. Okay. It's like always like this in, uh, okay. in national team. All right. So, um, let's talk about 
your game against Real Madrid, where you equalized that goal. Um, preparation towards that game. Take us through that one. Yeah, I think for me as a player, uh, before every game, I just uh, I just pray and I'm always determined to to score as a striker because that's okay. also my job to score for the uh, for the team. Team, yeah. It's it's always uh, my prayers and determination. Okay. So against uh, against Real Madrid, I was really determined. Okay. I even even against Real Madrid, I didn't know I would even start. Okay. Because in the you know sometimes. A day before the game, okay. our training, the, the, we have a uh, we have the size of the team. Okay. Who's gonna play? Who's, yeah, who's gonna not play. going to play? Okay. So the, in the training, for like first eleven, I wasn't part. So I was, but I was like, if I play, this is what I pray for. You know, I I want I want to score. So I don't, I didn't even think I'm I was gonna be in the first eleven. Okay. Yeah. So so do you start in first half or you came? Yeah, in? I started in the first. Yeah. To ninety minutes. No. Okay. So this was what happened. Uh, I started. So when they scored and I equalized, that was the same coach I was talking about. The wow. Same, the same coach. So after I equalized and we went to first half, we came back and he changed me. So would you mind mentioning this coach name? <laughs> or oh, no need for you to? You yeah, don't I want think, to? Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah. So he changed. He changed me, and uh, even the fans didn't understand. After scoring. When when after scoring and then. They change you as a player, if not you playing for Lavante, and then you realize that ah, Charlie, me has scored this goal, and all of a sudden this coach has changed me. Now, how does it make you feel like mentally? Yeah, sometimes it's really difficult because you know we the stri- we the strikers, we score, we come into the game. Okay. Yeah, but if we score and uh, at that moment you get changed, sometimes it's kind of uh, because you you, you the player would feel no. I'm now in the game. Okay. I'm now in the game because you after scoring you would, you would have more confidence. Okay. Uh, after scoring you have more confidence and if you're being changed, I think um, it's kind of difficult but you just need to cope with it and also respect the player coming in. Okay. So let's talk about your Real Madrid game like the like, like going to play the match first like starting 11 you were part and then you saw Cristiano Ronaldo and the likes of Ada Great Ramos and then the rest. Like, did you had a touch touch with most of them, or like you were like, okay, Charlie, make a day my corner, then make a concentrate on the match and let's go and see what I can deliver. I think I think it was it was really a blessing. Okay, it was a blessing because I never dreamt. I never dreamed because I was in Ghana watching uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, Ramos, you know, Champions League and stuff, and uh, feeling myself on the same pitch with them. I think. um, it was it was really a blessing it was really a blessing i had i had a couple of chat with uh, ramos because he was he's also a defender and i'm the striker so okay we, we even exchange uh Contact. jerseys okay jerseys yeah, as we, well we even exchange jerseys, so. oh, wow and the, how how is that feeling like like talking to ramos it was a, it was a great feeling it was really a good feeling as a young player like this playing alongside okay. this uh big place i think uh, it's uh it's a blessing so the match ended draw right i guess yeah. it ended draw two, two. one two two okay so when the match ended draw and then you saw ramos what was the first thing that you told him on pitch no he was like okay. he was like i like running a lot yeah <laughs> he was like uh the gusta corre mucho and i said ah si, 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 me gusta. like we were, we were yes, having that okay fun. okay and I, I asked him if we could uh if we could change uh, just, he was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay we change we change just so that moment like that evening when you went back to your house or your hotel or wherever you were residing how was it the feeling like it was a feeling it was a very very good feeling it was a really good feeling i couldn't i couldn't even imagine i couldn't even picture everything you know i was uh i was really excited i was really excited playing against these big clubs sometimes does it put tension on you as a player no i think uh for me for me, I think uh, playing against these big clubs uh, gives me more, more energy. You know, like uh, you want to explore more. I want to, uh, like I want to do more because okay. I think in Portugal I, I played against, uh, I scored against Porto, Benfica, okay. and in uh, in Spain to Madrid, Barcelona. I think uh, it's uh, it was a really good feeling okay. playing against these uh, big clubs. Big clubs. So um, let's go to. Um, in Spain as well, your eating, your uh, the culture, the people. Uh, first of all, take us back. Like when you scored the goal, 
when they mentioning your name on the pitch like what we always sit back and watch on television i watch it though but it's different from the experience on the pitch mm. were you hearing your name emmanuel boatin emmanuel yeah. boatin they yeah. were chanting your name and other things yeah they were, they were really chanting my name okay boatin boatin yeah yeah and i think uh levante's fans uh they are also perfect they are they are very great fans okay and so, uh, they always support uh really players okay to also improve okay so i think uh was, all right so racism in football <laughs> this is one of the biggest tasks that i mean players continue to fight over and this is something that i mean you guys always condemn it has it ever happened to you as a player no i think i've i've, I've never met uh, i've never met okay such things such thing in, okay uh, on my way as a player okay but when you hear other um colleagues of yours i mean saying that these people just officials or these fans or these people were calling me names i hope you also feel like ah why would these people do this to this yeah, guy yeah because i think uh if you're white and we're black we have the same blood okay we we play the same football okay no matter what happens on the field uh we are we are the same we are human okay okay so sometimes it's kind of uh, frustrating uh, we also need to retaliate you okay know? but uh, i think uh racism in football should uh, should stop so stop so that everyone can uh, have peace and enjoy it again okay so in 2018 this was where barcelona was winning all its matches and finally levante that or beating i mean <laughs> um, beating team came to an end for barcelona against levante in levante's home that match 2018 take us through the first ever Ghanaian player Charlie you bo you watch football uh, I, i remember um, um AC Milan versus ba- um, Barcelona where Kevin Prince Boanti and Suleiman Tari together yeah. they scored goal against Barcelona awesome. the way me na Gemorazi has them go camp no you go be oh AC Milan that match eh. <laughs> 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 this is the only match we eh. see <laughs> But we guy I love Akuba Akuba days. Ah but no but do these things happen to you like you guys as a yeah. player? Like sometimes when this game goes on very well at your home and you go away pa na kwa kwa yes. So in the camp what happened? Like when you go back to your dressing room, you have nothing to say because if you're playing in your on your own pitch, you okay. have the advantage. But if you go there they also have the advantage. Eh, eh, that thing educates on that. In your home, you have advantage. A way they have advantage, in It's terms of what? the the fans. Okay. Because in your home, you have you have huge fans. fans. Okay. Okay. That will okay. be cheering you up okay. and stuff. So I okay. think uh, the the fans also boost okay. energy. You know, energy in the players in as the players. well. So Barcelona line up against Levante, and you started. I think you started full 90 minutes. You played full 90 minutes. I was changed on the 89th minute. 89th minute. And yeah, she yeah cry one ball. What's a hat-trick ball? No? Hat-trick ball and I. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Stuff. The hat-trick ball, that feeling, that was it like. Yeah, it was. Uh, hey, did you ever, so, ever since you started your career, have you scored any hat-trick before? Mm, after, before, was it? Okay, when, when, when you were in Portugal? No. I only scored two against uh, Benfica. Benfica. Yeah. Okay. And then after scoring out two and then Barcelona, Barcelona the biggest hat-trick, team. Yeah. Hat-trick. It was really a great feeling. I proud to the match. Like say the evening before you were going to play. Did you know that you were going to be starting or you had continuous like since you had issues with this your coach and No, we had different coach because the first okay. coach went. Okay, the first coach yeah, went. So okay. when the second coach came, he tried he, he fixed me every game. Okay. So so you game, began to play, to play every, every game, time. Every game, oh, every game you were playing. Yeah. Wow. So before the game I had I had I knew I would uh, I would start. So I know this one there you mentioned the coach name. Uh, <laughs> oh, and I know so one body did. And I said I only know. So like after playing often on the pitch and finally you you played against Barcelona. 
you know sometimes i'll say play if you if you keep playing often you okay. you have that confidence and then okay and then that, that experience yeah, as that well experience in every game so before before the before the game against uh, against barcelona i was i was just calm i okay. just calm and uh, prepared to play because uh, i think we were already we were already secured in the relegation zone okay okay we were, before we won against uh, malaga malaga yeah and i scored the last minute goal against okay. malaga okay. so we won and we were secured okay and, uh, so be, against Benf- against uh, barcelona i was i was just calm I was okay. like, and the coach was like we should just go and uh, perform do our best he knows we can do it but we never we didn't know we didn't know this was what gonna was happen. going to happen and i never i never dreamt i never dreamt of uh, scoring, scoring a hat trick. trick against barcelona never i I never dreamt but it was it was all, always my prayer to score. Okay. But I never dreamt of uh, scoring hat trick. So in the tunnel before coming onto the pitch. Um I guess you saw Messi as well mm-hmm. and then you saw Sergio Busquets and then yeah. the likes. So when you saw them like were you frightening in the way? No, I was just calm because we were, we were just having a, a chat with my colleagues. Okay. And they were also beside us so okay. we were just uh, trying to see how the game will go and stuff. So Charlie, young call Luca. Kawo ha kawo ka say anti Messi no ni ni ala. Say, I don't have any na ha boy. Nye izo. By the way, do you think um w- what's your take on this? When I mean, um players meet these big players, um and then they try and take pictures. People think that like I don't know, it's on in traffic chair. This is the time for you. It's like you are limiting yourself to them. So sometimes no uh-huh. they, they don't understand it's the football they, language they, yeah, they, yeah they don't understand okay. because you meet you meet someone that you you really admired before yeah, and so idolize no as well nah, okay there's nothing wrong there is nothing wrong taking a picture with the person mm-hmm. even though uh, you play the same leg with the okay. person you should also know that i don't know when so but now we sana now we then okay okay into one who knows about the picture and things there chali <laughs> As a striker, <laughs> Charlie, you don't say this question there. I want to be as a striker playing against Barcelona, and then we say Messi nya bono di Janessa na like ha like us hey this guy what's up? Messi there ah na, and then we be able to win some of it. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. Very very difficult. Very difficult. Killer, you played with him on the pitch, and then I na then glue be wohwa na. Born crown to Ambassador of Tofu. Why is it that? But yo, your second goal, ne? Defender now pim no ball on him, ne? That much, no, that much I watched and I was like, me think him ne a foul. But they were pim no ne. Madame for pound. Madame for? Seven in another old Portugal. Or no Benfica. Eh, but they were pim no ne, serious, so. Why are you saying, see, in your bro? Hmm. Maybe if you know what, you're crying what. Yeah, media grow. Yeah, must be say be shop. Yeah, must be say be shop Messi di Ronaldo. Yeah, but see bubu ejuwa. Yeah, media grow. Wow. So your best friend and then you push him like that. Madam for. Oh, wa kai wa kasu. O mo bobo bi we fitrechi. Kasu no dia grow. Oh, they were kwanu chab. Me cry dia meda. Oh, they order. Oh, we chab me sa wa kasu. <laughs> it's a trust and I don't show the you know chame crabe. Okay, so so eh o chame na say ni the week near back camp na. Okay, okay. I make us oh boy. I know I say feel feel feel. So no, sometimes when it happens that way, ah, do you feel surprised like ah, chale no. Yeni ya ya ba say be was up your crabe your befia. Then see what you they do to me. Because imagine say o wini ya or when the bonus me win me bonus okay in yeah like we are all fighting okay and so chamia me me hone say eh normal okay so i said so chamia me hone say eh normal say me so me nya na me twa no ntia ni eh sa ni e chuchako so okay playing against barcelona no um was it like after the match okay so let's let's do this so after the match and then you scored a hat trick um which barcelona player did you communicate with do you have the chance to communicate with messi no I think uh, was uh, Coutinho. Coutinho. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because Coutinho, I think he scored two. Hat trick. He's. And you born here, the man. Mummy, you know. Ah. So how does that happen? When two players from both, like 
you from a different team score first hat trick, and then the other p- person also score another yeah. hat trick. Like I think the player who scored first hat trick gets the, the ball. Yeah, gets the ball. I didn't know when you say Baku Binya Nabakuina. Suppose in a dose, but a Baku Penny a ball park. So when you had the ball, like in the dressing room, not feeling oh, it to say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. to know, sir, the traffic chase will be uh, so all the players signed, and uh, it was really fun in the dressing room after the game. Yeah. Okay, so staying in Spain, is it difficult? Like staying in Spain in terms of. Um, the spending, the spending channel in your manioma. No, I think Valencia as a city, you know, I think it's it's not that difficult compared to Madrid, Barcelona. Okay. Yeah, so okay. it's uh, it's also it's, yeah, it's a, also a cool place. Yeah, cool place as too. compared to yeah. as you know I have standard of living here or living here Madrid Yeah. It's okay, okay. No, for your level though. Yeah, 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 it's okay. It's also okay, it's okay. Because yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> here in the channel, yeah. Landlord need you four hundred a month. Cry, you feel no cry. That way, the people that visa say on the level, no they okay, ah, nah. Okay, for your side, oh, okay. So, um, football after that match, um, the coach, what did the coach like tell you when you scored that hat trick? No, he he didn't really say anything. Anything specific. Mm-hmm. We were just having fun with the okay. coaches everywhere. With the president okay. in the dress room, we were just shouting, singing together. You know. It was it was really fun. Was it like as a more bobo in area, like more we season in area? As a real season. But meanwhile, there were as other was, games to play. Yeah, I think we had our last game. Okay. Our last game to play. But I think it was uh, it was it was a record. Okay. For the club. For the club. For okay. The club. And for me as a player. Yeah, for you as a player. So we were. Wow. Tell about it. And where it was like me. You. Mandau, I, I want to be. Southern Mandau. Southern Wanda. No, after the game, I couldn't sleep. Oshé, 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 on YouTube, I'll uh, go back to uh, bo- social media. I'll have it social media. Social media, oh, me, I couldn't sleep. I was like, no. I have a six. I have a number six. I have a six. I couldn't sleep that night. I was... And the yeah, messages just, on my phone. And like, reminiscing the whole game and other things. Yeah, it, was, it was really a great feeling. So, will you say it was that game that had you called into the Black Stars? Yes, I would say I would say that. Yeah, it was that, that game. Yeah, I would say that. Cause you know, after that, um, this match, uh, when you played against Barcelona, you've not had any extensive interview as compared no. to this one. Yeah. So, like, when you had the call to Black Stars, okay, let's talk about Thomas Pate. You played against Thomas Pate as well. How about that one? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> so when you meet your brothers on the pitch of play. Like after the game, how do you guys like? What was the communication like? How is the feeling oh, like? We just, we just, we just have a normal conversation, mm-hmm. normal one. Say, oh, we near. So I said, no one told me we near. It means we near. I said, oh, but when I told my, we say we pray, and I said, you know, that that vibe is that there. That vibe, that normal vibe, you know, it's it's always there. It's always there. So let's talk about uh, FIFA games. I I'm a fan of playing football games. Um, some manche pitch na na me bo game and mostly I'll say say if I watch the style of play that's what I also imitate with the console mm-hmm. and yeah. then the pad when I have it. Do you enjoy playing FIFA game? I have I have FIFA game in my house but <laughs> I don't I don't really play. Or do you enjoy playing the mission games rather? I don't play. I just you just yeah. you just have it for people who for comes people around. Who comes around to play. Yeah. Okay, so you featured in FIFA 18. You featured in 19. You featured in 20. And then 2021, this is the real Emmanuel Boateng in FIFA football game. Like, when you see the face, you realize that, okay, Charlie Aquano, is it that they come to the camp to take, I mean, some footages of you guys and other things? How is that they were like? No, they don't. I think they, they, take, it, they take it from our, our profile. Okay, your yeah, picture. They take, yeah, okay. they take the picture from our profile. So okay. So normally, I, on you like on their social media platform, they visit club teams and then they let players to be playing and other things. Have you had any chance, like by chance? No, for me, I think they only they send the. the okay, the the, the, the CD. The CD. The okay, CD box okay. With my pictures. Your pictures and everything, yeah. Yeah. and then your ratings and yeah. other stuff. Okay, and did you picture that too when starting your career? I, I didn't picture anything like that. It wasn't even in my mind. Wow. It wasn't even in my mind. So. That's that's why I always say I just thank God for how far he has brought me. Then you move to China. 
Charlie, why not any other club teams in the world? Yo, yo, Charlie, me this thing, I know they understand. Why not any other? Martin be Chelsea. But as you play for Levante, we can't support Levante in a way. I get some small feeling. Up to now, I get some small feeling before them. Mm. Since you know they're there. But why you don't play for any other club team by China? But people will tell you that um we back as a scanning team now journey. I'm off for say I'm off for retire, no more coho, aqua cobob match. No. But you as a player, why? Was it that you were not going getting that playing time in Levante? No, that wasn't that wasn't the problem, but uh, in life no. You should also have a decision now. You think say it's also good for you. Okay. And you know, when the deal came no, it was a, 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 a the money was good. Okay. And we we work for the money. Okay. It's kind of thing. Ampa, ampa, it's true. And uh, I also have family. Okay. Very important. So if if the deal was good, I think I had to I had to take the opportunity to to move. It's kind of the here. Oh, and after yeah. football, no? after football, at the end of the day, the end of the day, we 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 maybe say because we, we have, I mean, yeah, it. it's true because so. I mean we've been hearing lots of stories. I'm on for Stati yeah, and this and this and that so. happened and this and your man, your man. No. So when the deal came, no, I was like, ah, let me take, let me take the opportunity. But w- nah. but the, did the president did the president was the president willing to allow you to go? The coach was like, boy. You have to play. You just play another year, just one year for us, then uh, you can go. But you know, in football, you never know tomorrow. <coughs> you always need to think uh, positive, but you never know tomorrow. You never know what's what will happen tomorrow. So I was like, I was like, yeah, coach. I wish, I wish I could, but I think uh, the deal is good for me and my family. So I have to go. I have to go, and you know. Yeah, we can say we're this case here. This is coming to an end. See, true. End is true. In Nepal, in Nepal, it's not going to be like that. Yeah, Jidi. And see, you come because you come. No Jidi, we have. Yeah, I'm part. It's true. We can say we're going to be like that. 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 We're Club team like let's say English football, like you come and play again, like we both Chelsea and Tottenham and say Southampton and say like any of the clubs. And when you offer being free one, who first in the be by, but the more do know as a way, the more do know as a call. So I think, I think that I just I made I made the right uh, the right decision. Looking so. forward, Charlie. Do you plan of playing for any? English club team because me 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 um, wish to go back England. No, in England yeah, it's it's always a dream. Uh, okay. Wish to no, na me imagine ya say. And wish to another club team where now. Favorite favorite team by Arsenal. Yeah. Because I'm a say say but oh boy, I'm a say it's all about the team because na ba say. Yeah. Ba say say na. Aba for start to support us that in age is you. Oh, we send the na me team me team now even now. No, no, yeah. That's uh, that's my team, my team. No. But do you plan on playing for them? Some more the deal no ba. Na so she na say deal no. Okay, you man say next season ba. Na say ya she u she scan e China no na u she as na so deal na any China dey no nye pepepe a. Nye pepepe na kakra won kra. I think say me ko. Won be ko ho. Because eh ade na e won makuma me say pese me dey. Won bo ma won mo. Me ye na me ka o ti ase. Eh eh ade e won makuma. Okay. Nti e no no fa mo say say ni say. It will be it will be a dream come true because yeah, I was it has it has always been my dream dream to play to play yeah. for us now. So if you don't get the opportunity to and uh, any English any club, any English club come, I I will just accept. That. Hey, hard guy. If if you know how, Charlie. But you see, it's it's me. Some in a way, me. I feel surprised. Like how come you are, and then you play this football and Ubagana yento unwasem. Coded, mm. and all of a sudden, no one said Johnny Akobag. What is it about Spain that you like very much? Because sometimes China, oh China, mobile mm. game, no, you know, we say we say Spain. Man, tears here, like I know the bab. If you say, if your family maybe were here now. No, my family no, but my family were here. Okay. Agent, agent, so. Oh no, what? Agent was Spain. Okay. And now, 
No, I call you meeting. We walk across. Masaba. Malaysia, it's a very nice city. Okay. And then, yeah, baby, so I will walk. Winter back, it's also warm. Okay. Yeah, there are many to offer. So, what if um, you can't say, Levante focus your most happy way? Has there been that interest like that? No. In Tishi, in free. Oh, my God, no like side on me. I'm paying for no, like okay. the management. Okay. But fans and I am more than someone sending message to me. Um, okay. Um, bra. Um, bra. Okay. Yeah. Fine, they be brave. Me, me, they be, they be a. Okay. okay, but in a way, do you sometimes go there and feel like you want to go and visit the training pitch and other things? No, I go there no, when I when I left. When okay. I left Levante, when I go there, I just go there to watch a okay. couple of their games. Their games, okay. But not training. A okay. Couple of the games, yeah. Mike Asia in an interview said, uh, before he played for Real Madrid, uh, he had a call from Jose Mourinho, and then from there. He had his track suit and then a top. So what's your side picture now? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, Only no, no, traffic. Ah, I see no one fa- bag, one fashion. And then the idea of fine or the call no cost any. As a player, has that happened to you? Say you walk up ball outside. Now if you even say you would, you would be a bit too Portugal. Tell me, you man, we in here, we are very important. They say me find in here, I'm cosplaying. Has it happened to you? And I say, oh bah, then you come and spend another cost to get also another place into. We free, we free Portugal cosplaying. And I'm fashion, I'm agents penade. A coy, and I'm a famatari about me and we pen. Made the bombage, and I'm a coy. It's me, Yomana can in your mede. Omana, I'm going to bring me later. But uh, did you? Did you <laughs> I say, oh, you guys, you're like your, your football style of playing and moving and other things from one club to the other club and other club. Would you say it's expensive in a way? Yeah, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's that expensive, but. Uh, it's it's something part of us okay. that we have to we have okay. to we have to cope with okay. because uh, okay. you can't you can't decide the future tomorrow. Okay. So when we hear say a player is signed for hundred million pounds, two hundred million pounds, three hundred million pounds, Charlie Yeah Fin says Canada, I will Mr. Boatin sim. Sometimes in Swana media no two and no crap. Yeah, and you're the only So no work cool, eh? <laughs> no work cool. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, I'm the best. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, I got a video so that yes, I know. Outside rules, so good to be able. Maybe I'm no work cool. Yeah, we are saying we see edge fifty million pounds, fifty million, twenty-five. And you're no crap. One shall know edge. One shall know edge, bro. And I say edge less. Edge less. So I just say yes, I know it. Hey. So when it happens like that, in terms of sortiment, in here, the idea, no saying it like. Is it that a club no percentage or the amount? Now, if your agent is so one, you need your opinion. Yeah, who's agent? For agents in the amount, agents, agent fee. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Club and okay. okay. Club and okay. Club and club. But okay. for for the player, no, or signing a fee, ni. Okay. Or no matter, it's only for you and and your new agent and other okay. club that. Okay. And the one on one idea. Okay. What? Let me ask this question. Do you sometimes change your agent sometimes in football? Yeah, I've changed. I've, I changed my first agent. And do you go in for a bigger one or you go like some? Do they have the bigger agent and then they have the like everyone say, what's say in football? Say, oh, Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Emmanuel Boate, the day yeah. are you, Jordan are you? You see that kind of yeah. scale of preference level, no? Do you also go for an agent out and say, this, I need this agent to help me to do this and to do that as well? Yeah, sometimes you you go in for agent uh, but to make a good deal side. Ah, bro. Ah, bro. Okay. Ah, scars with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you know, I think, and then most of the players, they are on my Okay. All right. Okay. So, what would be the last word that uh, will be share while starting a career? Maybe a obo amanane, ufrigana wa kwa amanane or obo football. What would be that your word of encouragement to Adebe Mano? Yeah, I just want to tell that person say, uh, you know, it's it's not easy because we're full crew riding. Waba. Okay. It's you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't have it that that easy. Mm-hmm. Say say we crew because mm-hmm. we be mountain riding. Waba. And uh, and in Europe, you no, know, I'm here say, you know, I was say yeah, I'm here fifty, I was here about eight. Okay. It was here extra work. Okay. Yeah, that's that's how. That because we have fifteen or year fifty, yeah. But my brother in Nairobi, good number. So we just, uh, they just have to keep keep working hard, pushing. And always they just put uh, God first. Okay. Because without God, no, 
I don't think so. We have it, but with the Yami Dikaya, everything, everything is possible. Was the Boateng family really supporting your dream to be a footballer? <coughs> yes, yes, uh, they were. They were really supporting. But as a my 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 dad on the my my papa the on the on his school there on fine there. Oh, Charlie, on fine there, bro. Yeah, my dad, my dad, I didn't joke with uh, with school, so he will be like, ah, cause he go school, you know, like you know those wow. vibes. Cause he see me, see, I'm like, damn, I come, I come. So my mom was like, mo, mo, most of the times, me ko bobo ba, na me ni me mom ay de. Ashesha when I say, oh, masumano, but na me ko ako ay de. Ya ko bobo. Na me ko bobo. So masumano ko dime ka bi ay de. Amo, okay. So that was, uh, so when after I had the call up from, I'm afraid thirty, thirty okay, okay, players okay, na me okay. come. Uh, he didn't even know I went to national. I went to national team just for yeah. Only my brother knew that. So after they mentioned the name, ah, on so on so more times, I will not see. So from that day, no. So my dad put me three thirty four o'clock. Cause he won't go training, you know. You know. <laughs> so it was it was just fun, you know. But that but that is a it's a, but that is a loving dad, okay. you know. It was it was just fun. So from that day, no, made my dad cry too. Cause he won't go training. Time time also me say that. In the end, I wanna work as he. You know. It was Charlie, like this. Yeah. <laughs> so so training like outside. Um, is it difficult in a way? Yeah, if you're training. So, like, that. let's say when you train after the pitch, do you still continue to train on yeah. the pitch? No, after after the pitch, no, because mm-hmm. you know sometimes you know the coaches no they wouldn't like you to do extra work. Okay. So you train on the pitch, no, like our coach like this, Rafa. We train on the pitch. So after, if you want to do extra training, you only you can only train on your upper upper okay. side. Okay. Okay. In the gym, but you can train. Uh, you can train your your lower side. Hey. Yeah. Me 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 be kind of feel the test by escaping. Thank you, Saudi Abba. <laughs> like working with him, how is it like from Liverpool, Newcastle? Yeah. How is the feeling like Real Madrid? In a way, how how does it make you feel working I with feel, him? I feel good because uh, and you be having your opportunity. He said, "Oh, me." Rafael Benitez. Rafael Benitez, one of the biggest coach ever. Ever age man. So I think uh, and he's he's a uh, he's a very good coach. He's a he's a, he's a very good coach and. Uh, how he even communicates with, uh, with players. the players. Think, uh, Does he get upset sometimes when he sees that if you are and Bobo we? Yeah, it's normal. Every coach, every coach gets uh, upset, but he wouldn't. He wouldn't show it in a, in a bad way. Okay. Yeah. But okay. But if he's upset, he's upset uh, with the whole team. Okay. Not okay. Only, well, only one player. Not only another one player thing. with the whole team. Yeah. Wow. Charlie. What's the one thing you want to do as a player for, um, let's say, this country? Adia Dawa Kumaso. Adia Dama Kumaso? Yeah. Adia Dama Kumaso, yeah. I just want to help, uh, I just want to help young upcoming players. Okay. Because I've, I've already started uh, helping a few players. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, we all, we all need help in hands uh, okay. when we're coming up, you know. I think last last year I brought one agent here in Ghana to oh, scout wow. yeah. Scout young players. So I think uh that's the that's the best thing I can also do for this upcoming mm-hmm. uh, upcoming mm-hmm. young players. All right, Charlie Mami and then I say send me your question behind me the best I know on Instagram. <laughs> Charlie, bless you bro. Bless you, bless Charlie, you thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. You're welcome. Charlie. You're welcome. 2021, we are wishing for greater height Amen. and Amen. we are praying that, I mean, no, yeah, you have any injury experience in yeah. BR and Amen. we pray that you continue to keep form Amen. and my wish is for you to come and play us now. Amen. So, I'm not going to be a small feeling, but I'm not But, I'm not going to be a small feeling, but I'm not going to be a small I will go for Chelsea. Hey, Charlie, this is the okay year by you. Hey, this is very crazy, Charlie. But Charlie, anyways, thank you for this opportunity. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful for you welcoming me to your house to have this interview. I mean, I, I've been searching on YouTube. Say, Andrew Amanda, you are not gonna lie. I don't feel bad because I'm like, ah, how will he get questions? Make an accent like what? Because I don't see any extensive interview yeah. on youtube or on facebook so i monitor both social media and then the twitter handles of these clubs and other things and then i i don't feel that yeah. vibe and i'm yeah. like yo so how am i going to do this thing this is my first time having an interview with a sports personality oh, okay. this is my first time yeah that one yeah no good like this is my first time and charlie 
Levante striker hat trick Okay, my face here. So you see Oscar too for the Oscar yeah, too. Yeah, see them all. You see and them. And then they were and I was like, no. Say hook go. Yeah. Paulino. Paulino. Or Oscar. Or Oscar. Or in yes, I think in yesterday. Nah, yesterday. Oh, Japan. Uh, yeah, Japan. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Alright. In this other place, we in that area. Oh, how dear. Oh, sorry. Felani mu ina. So. Wow. Ena unipanzu. Wakasu. Until the Akusia or Askela or one day. Turn on off our league in the Laka or Franca Champo. Oh, wow. Turn off our league, you know. And how was it like? Yeah. Like, who saw off our league, you know? Like, no, I was really happy. Okay. I was really happy because I think in near the first, the okay. first year. Okay. This first year, okay. The first year, and what you met me to the, what you met the club, and I think so. I was really happy for okay. him. So, how many years now signing my um, four. Four years. Lavante, who signing for? Who's signing for? Yeah, you're fancy here.